This is Derek Hansen, and we're going to talk about my 10 by 10 sprint training method. So for any of you that have taken any of my running mechanics professional courses, you know that I always talk about my 10 meter or 10 yard sprint progression. And with this progression, all you're doing is you're working on acceleration abilities. 10 yards or 10 meters usually is about seven strides, maybe six if you're a bit larger, but usually it's seven strides. So even if you don't have a tape measure, you can just count to seven, decelerate and do it again. And so I'm going to show you how to use this to your advantage to make you not only a better sprinter, but also a better athlete that can handle the demands of your sport. So one of the things that I do is make sure that people know how to set this up. And if you have a small facility, then this will work just fine. In this video, you'll see we do it at a facility in North Vancouver called Level 10 Fitness, run by a good friend of mine, Anthony Finley, does a great job. If you're ever in town, go train with him. But what we do with that facility is we only have 25 yards wall to wall. So we make the most of that space and we make sure we can get our 10 meter, 10 yard progressions in. So I'll show you how we did that. Okay, so I've set up the floor plan here so you can see an indoor track, 25 yards start to finish, cement wall here, windows over here. And the idea here is we don't wanna put the athletes in danger and have them decelerate into a wall or a window over here. But the idea here is to create a buffer so that they can decelerate nicely, set up for the next run. So what I'll do is I will set up a start position here and a finish position here. In this case, I think we made it 10 yards. That's how it's marked out. And then it's a deceleration and a walk and a reset over here. And we're gonna do that same run, 10 yards, finish here, decelerate, then a walk and do it again. So we have 10 yards here. We have 10 yards here. This is 15 yards. If you do the math, 15 yards here, decel here, decel here. That way it's safe. That way we have enough acceleration distance and we have enough deceleration distance. And as you'll see in the video, what happens is we'll do 10 yards, easy walk, 10 yards. That's considered two reps. And then we continue that four more times. So a total of 10 repetitions, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, finish. In this case, we took a three minute break and I think you'll see that there is some fatigue and the idea is not to make them so fatigued that they can't finish it obviously, but to run fast enough. So there's quality acceleration, but at the same time, we don't want them having rep one to be way faster than rep 10. The idea is pace yourself so that we can get good quality acceleration in and we know exactly what speed we're running from start to finish. So as you watch the video, you'll see them go through, I'm always cueing things like arms, rhythm, relaxation, and we're not cueing them to gut it out and have lots of muscle tension and hurt themselves. So if you run this smoothly enough and you have, in this case we had four, you could probably have six athletes and you could run it pretty smoothly in a circuit. 
and you give them enough rest in between, in this case, three minutes. Initially, for athletes that aren't in shape, maybe widen it out a bit. And then as they get in better shape, you can start closing up. Sometimes I have it as low as two minutes if they're in really good shape. And in this case, with this workout that we ran, and this is early in our general preparatory phase, we ran this three times for a total of 300 yards. 300 yards of acceleration, so 30 repetitions of acceleration, worked really well, had a good workout, there wasn't a drop in quality either. So again, let's outline that. And what we did was we did 10 times 10, which probably took about, you know, I think in this case, it'll be 90 to 100 seconds to complete. And then we had three minute break, 10 by 10, which again is equal to 100, 10 by 10, gives us our total, 300 or 30 reps. So there you have it. So again, what we're focusing on is technique, repeatability, consistent effort, relaxation. And because you get so many reps, one of the things you're gonna get is you're gonna get to work on acceleration technique, okay? The other thing you're gonna get out of this is repeatability of sprint ability. So. And finally, the one thing you'll find out is that it's great strength training to do this workout. Upper body, core, glutes, hamstrings, calves, feet, everything. It's a total body workout. And if you do this, and I've done it for as much as 50, 60, 70 reps, and it feels like I had a weight workout. So strength. So great overall workout for people who are in team sports, repeat sprint ability. I use it for rehab. So 10 by 10, try it, it works. And if you have a chance, check out my courses and my virtual programs, and you can learn more by doing those programs and learning by doing is the best way. So thank you very much. This is Derek Hansen for Running Mechanics Professional.